Hello, welcome to our overview of the treasures and collections we have at the University of Florida's George A. Smathers Library's Special and Area Studies Collections Department, known as SASC. My name is Sarah Coates and I work in University Archives. Joining me on this presentation is Susan Altieri, Curator of the Baldwin Library of Historical Children's Literature, and Dr. Neil Ware, Curator of the Harold and Mary Jean Hansen Rare Book Collection. In this presentation, you will get an introduction and overview to SASC's collections, which you can see listed on this slide. Since we have limited time in this presentation, we will only be able to give you some highlights from our collections. Many of our curators will be giving more presentations on their collections in the weeks to come. This is Smathers Library, formerly known as University Library, then Library East. The library opened in 1927, and it was the main library for UF from 1927 to 1967. This library is now part of the entire George A. Smathers Libraries, which now comprises six different libraries, including the one we work at, which houses Special and Area Studies collections. While the landscaping has changed a bit, the building looks the same today. This is the grand reading room in Smathers Library, which was the main reading room for the libraries for more than five decades. It's the heart of special collections, where researchers, students, staff, and faculty can come to see our materials or just study. The building also houses the map and imagery library and the Latin American and Caribbean collection. Our mission is to collect, preserve, describe, and make available special materials to support the mission of the University of Florida and researchers worldwide. Here is our department, and it gives you a general idea of the team of diverse and gifted individuals with a wide range of expertise and skills that come together to accomplish the work of collecting, preserving, describing, and making available our collections and materials. All of these great people contributed to this PowerPoint, and many are looking forward to future presentations. The University of Florida's rare book collection encompasses everything from medieval manuscripts to modern artist books. All told, the collections illustrate nearly 900 years of human interaction with the book in its many forms. The collection is quite strong in works of natural history and technology, 19th century British and American literature, and the culture of Europe and the Americas. In addition to old books and the history of collecting, I have a soft spot for fake histories, forgeries, and other exercises in myth-making. Don't worry, everything I tell you is completely trustworthy. I'll look forward to talking with you more about the travels of some of the books that are now in Smathers Library and the ways that they arrived there. The Baldwin Library is one of the largest collections of Anglo-American children's literature in the world, and its books span from 1668 to present day. The collection also features historic movable books and games, over 200 editions of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and 400 editions of Robinson Crusoe. The library also has small holdings in manuscript collections, original artwork, and assorted ephemera about children and childhood. Its digital collection, available for free on UFDC, is one of the largest collections of 19th century children's literature in the world. The P.K. Young Library of Florida History had its inception as a private library in Pensacola, built by Philip Keyes Young, a prominent businessman and member of the Board of Governors, and his son, Julian Chandler Young. Julian, in particular, collected rare books related to Florida's colonial era and to its early years as a state. In 1945, Julian donated the entire library to the University of Florida and served as its first curator. Today, the books, manuscripts, and other materials in the Young Library span the centuries from Juan Ponce de Leon's first voyage in 1513 to the present. The library is especially noted for its holdings in colonial papers, its historical maps and manuscripts from the 19th century, and its colorful collection of postcards, tourist brochures, and over 3,000 Florida citrus crate labels, like the ones you see in this slide, and which you can see in our reading room. 
Our manuscript materials cover a wide range of topics and people, including the environment, women's history, and political papers. Highlights include the Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings, James Haskins, and Zora Neale Hurston papers, the records of the Florida Defenders of the Environment, and the Florida League of Women Voters. These collections consist of mostly primary research materials, including manuscripts, correspondence, photographs, and audiovisual recordings. The University of Florida is privileged to have one of the largest collections of congressional papers in the nation. Our collections include the papers of six modern U.S. Senators, Spessard Holland, George Smathers, Lawton Childs, Connie Mack III, Bob Graham, and most recently, Bill Nelson, as well as former members of Florida's House delegation. Their collections provide insights into the major national debates of their days in Congress, as well as topics specific to Florida. Did you ever write a letter to your senator? Well, it may be here, as each collection contains thousands of constituent letters on a wide variety of issues. The collections are also rich in audiovisual materials and memorabilia, including Bob Graham's work days, Lawton Child's walk through Florida, and Bill Nelson's space shuttle mission. The University of Florida Archives supports research on the history of the university. It is the custodian of the university's historically significant public records, including the administrative files of its past presidents. The archives also collects the papers and records of individuals and organizations associated with the university and maintains files of yearbooks, student publications, and official university documents. The archive's most recognizable component is its extensive photograph collection composed of over 35,000 images depicting all aspects of the university. It is also home to hundreds of films, videos, and sound recordings, as well as an artifact and memorabilia collection. The popular culture collections consist of three different areas. The Belknap Collection for the Performing Arts, the Susie Covey Comic Book Collection, and the Jim Liversidge Collection. The Belknap Collection is an eclectic mixture of mainly non-book primary research materials. Nearly 85% of the collection is ephemera. The Susie Covey Comic Book Collection directly supports the comic studies program offered by the Department of English. The collection is still growing and is useful for those interested in the history and development of sequential arts formats. Finally, the Jim Liversidge Collection represents over 50 years of collecting, from JFK in Vietnam to George W. Bush, 9-11, and Barack Obama. This walk through baby boom pop culture touches upon highlights from politics, television, cinema, theater, music, and day-to-day -day current events. Established in 2004, the Architecture Archives mission is to preserve archival drawings and other historic materials related to architecture and design in Florida and the Caribbean, to support and promote humanities education and scholarship, and to support the preservation of the region's built environment. The Architecture Archives is a collaborative effort between the Smathers Libraries and the UF College of Design, Construction, and Planning. The archives has now become the preeminent archive program in Florida and the Caribbean in collecting historical records relating to architecture, landscape architecture, planning, and design. Founded in 1951 to support emerging scholarly interest in Latin America and the Caribbean, the Latin American and Caribbean collection has since grown to become one of the University of Florida's preeminent collections. The collection has its own reading room on the third floor and holds approximately 500,000 volumes, over 50,000 microforms, a large collection of rare books and manuscripts, and a wealth of digital resources, many of which are open access. The Isser and Ray Price Library of Judaica is the foremost Jewish studies research collection in the southeastern United States. The Price Library's physical and digital collections span from the biblical period to modern day, covering over 45 languages and representing the Jewish experience in over 50 countries around the world. The library also has its own unique reading room known as the Judaica Suite. Located on the second floor of Smathers Library, the Judaica Suite has bespoke interiors designed by world-renowned architect and artist, 
Kenneth Treister, an alum of the University of Florida. In addition to Treister's beautifully handmade furniture, original artwork, sculptures, and chess sets, the hundreds of visitors who tour the space each year enjoy seeing treasures from the Judaica Library's rare book collection on display there. Twelve years after opening, the Panama Canal Museum in Seminole, Florida closed on July 31st, 2012, and made the decision to transfer their collections to the George A. Smathers Libraries at the University of Florida. The Panama Canal Museum collection is the leading research collection for the study of the American era of the Panama Canal. The collection documents the U.S. experience in the Panama Canal Zone and in the country of Panama. To a lesser degree, the collection also preserves historical information about the canal prior to and subsequent to U.S. construction and operation. The African Studies Collection supports diverse research and teaching programs across most of U.S. 16 colleges. It is known for exceptional manuscripts documenting 20th century African wildlife conservation, as well as photographs from West and Central Africa. Notable are slides like this one by Bob Campbell, a professional wildlife photographer who documented Diane Fossey's mountain gorilla research, as well as collections from East African professional safari hunters and field data from conservation projects. Other special materials relate to linguistics, Ghana during the Second World War, life on a Liberian rubber plantation, and a set of studio portraits of Zulu residents of Natal. We recently obtained original artwork, this one by a Congolese comic book artist, the first publicly accessible collection of its kind. This groundbreaking collection will support a collaborative project for language teaching and learning through online transcription and translation of its vernacular comic texts. Governor's House Library, located in downtown St. Augustine, has been part of the George A. Smathers Libraries since 2010. Our collections consist of materials created and collected by the historic St. Augustine Preservation Board, which document St. Augustine's built environment and provide historical information about the city and its inhabitants through time. The library collection includes archival records, maps, architectural drawings, museum artifacts, and photographs that illustrate the Preservation Board's efforts to restore and reconstruct buildings that honor and reflect St. Augustine's heritage as the oldest continuously occupied city in North America. The collections at Governor's House Library continue to support archaeology and historic preservation efforts in St. Augustine. The Map and Imagery Library is home to a number of collections ranging from recent aerial photography to antique maps. The library's collections include approximately 500,000 maps, 350,000 aerial photographs and satellite images, 8,000 atlases and reference books, as well as a number of geospatial data sets. It is one of the largest academic map libraries in the United States, and its concentrations include Florida, Latin America, Africa, and the Middle East. Both the Florida Aerial Photography and the Sanborn Fire Insurance Company map collections are freely available online in UF's digital collections. Also accessible are the Map Library's World Antique Map Collection that dates from the late 1400s and the Florida History Map Collection, which holds UF's earliest printed map of Florida, Ruselli's 1574 Nueva Hispania Tabula Nova, published in Venice. Thank you very much for listening, and we look forward to showing you more from our collections in the future.